this short clip will look at some test tube analysis using common reagents. In the sting curb scenario, we don't know which of the three possible drugs are present in the mixture. Is it salicylic acid? Is it benzocaine? Or is it paracetamol? In combination or on their own? A quick look at the structures will show you that two of these materials contain phenol functional groups. That is an alcohol attached to a benzene ring, a C6H5 derivative of benzene. One of these materials is a carboxylic acid, therefore will exhibit organic acid properties, so acidic properties. So the first thing to do is dissolve up a small amount of our mixture in a suitable solvent and shake until it is dissolved. If you add some iron 3 chloride solution to a phenol containing molecule, you'll get a purple coloration due to complex ion formation. Only phenols do this. Two of our drug structures show this characteristic grouping. Weak carboxylic acids will react with sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium carbonate solution to liberate carbon dioxide gas. Now remember, organic acids are weak acids in the main and therefore do not expect to see massive bubbles, massive effervescence of carbon dioxide being produced. The reaction will be a lot slower and so evidence of gas formation is the lifting up of any solid particles to the surface, releasing the gas so the solid particles drop down to the bottom of the tube. Of the two drugs that give a positive test with phenol, only salicylic acid also has a carboxylic acid functional group, which would give rise to effervescence of carbon dioxide. What we can't tell is if there is benzocaine in the mixture, so we're going to need to run a TLC to find this out in the next section. Remember to dispose of all chemicals when complete in the appropriate way.